Hey, it's your boy, Jeremiah. Smoke Monday Sports. I had a problem today. It's um, 23rd of December, 2023. And I have a, a Bali Southwest Sports subscription that I, I can play on my television. And I have NBA League Pass that I can play on my television. I live here. I live here in Port Isabel, Texas. Now, the reason that I have the NBA League Pass is because I am from Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana, and I want to watch all of my Pelicans fly all the time. You know what I mean? But let me explain what happened today with trying to watch the basketball game. It wasn't available on League Pass. It wasn't available on Bali Sports Southwest. It was only available if you had a certain subscription to a Space City Sports Network, which is, I guess, provided by Fubo Sports. F-U-B-O. For anybody that's trying to spell things out. I looked up where the company is, but then I really found out, well, who owns the Houston Rockets? The person that owns the Houston Rockets is a Chinese communist. We are worried about border security here in Texas. You know, Mr. Uh, Abbott in the wheelchair, we're worried about the border security. But when the Chinese Communist Party comes and buys a sports team, well, hey, nobody gives a fuck about that. And they... They start doing these crazy things like becoming exclusive. You know what I mean? They can't play within the, you know, got, I got, they, they have to do their own thing. They have to make their own money. You have to go get it on FUBU, which at this point, I'm kind of convinced just because the way the game was called, it was different. It looked like it had Chinese referees. All right. I think I think the broadcast and where it was broadcasted from had some problems. So I'm going to I'm going to ask Governor Abbott to uh look into who owns the Houston Rockets and make sure it's not owned by the Chinese Communist Party or a subsidiary and look at Fubo I think they were trademarked out of New Jersey or somewhere like there. But look at that, too. I'd rather have Mexicans coming across the border than Chinese selling they shit right here to spy on all of us. Don't get TikTok. TikTok is a bad no-no. TikTok gathers, gathers your patterns and knows what you're going to do. It's very, very intelligent about how it does it and how it tracks you. You know what I mean? It knows where you are. It knows where people are congested. It knows the targets to hit and when not to hit it. It knows everything. So don't do the TikTok. But I would also suggest at this moment, do not do the Fubo. I think it was it was it was trademarked out of Spain. I'm believing at this point be, because the only I think it's it's a a. The name and the the fact that I've never seen I've never seen a basketball game like this one. This wasn't this. It didn't even feel right to begin with. You know what I mean? It it, it just didn't. It felt like it was there was some just blow me for turning over man and then i had to see it and then i was looking for it I, like i said i have league pass i have valley sports southwest just in case they played the san antonio spurs and in the houston rockets but uh, the houston rockets have their own sports network the houston rockets are not that good and it's only because of the chinese communist party and the reason this game was won by, it just, I'm just saying, 
I'm just saying. It just none of none of the whole situation looked good at all. And I'm I'm encouraging Greg Abbott. I'm I'm encouraging the Texas Gaming Commission. All right, because uh, apparently they bet on sports. I I want everybody to look at the Houston Rockets, and you can tell them you can uh, be owned. You can be owned by an American, or you gotta get the fuck out of town. Square enough business. We are not promoting Chinese communism. All right, and and. I was talking to the NBA League Pass. He said it was all blocked out. All blocked out anywhere. The only way you could access that program was through their private sports network, which was only provided by one supplier. And then the supplier, Fubo, it sounds oriental. Um, I'm trying to look up the, the basics of it, but I'm pretty sure they're kind of like the TikTok, they, they're, they're a, a, an intelligence accessing program. Now, the Houston Rockets are owned by a Chinese communist. And there is a, a lot of money. The red, the reason, it's not the team of Akeem Olajuwon anymore. I would like Adam Silver to look at it. I... I, I you cannot supply the enemy. All right. China supplies Iran that wants to hurt Israel. They supply Russia that wants to hurt Ukraine and by turn trying to hurt us. I mean, you can't give money to the enemy, man. And and what I saw today in the broadcast and the, the officiating, it was a Chinese communist ploy. If you're Chinese, just don't be communist. Viva la libertad, man. You gotta fight for that freedom. You gotta go, you gotta go fight for your freedom, man. Stand up to the oppression. You know, stand up. It's your boy Jeremiah. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. And I wish you much more to come. I believe in basketball. I believe in competition. I believe competition brings out the best in everybody. But what I saw today it looked rigged or officiated and broadcasted in a way. It, it didn't look it didn't they had a bad juju about it. it. Had a bad had a bad the whole situation had a Bad, bad feel about it. Felt like Chinese. And I'm not being xenophobic. I'm just saying it felt like the Chinese Communist Party. Well, happy holidays. Let's keep home having some more. It's your boy Jeremiah. Smoke Monday Sports.